What's up, guys? These are the Mickelson twins. My Ryan name is and Rasmus. And I'm Christian. <laughs> and together we are the Mickelson twins. I'm going to go like this. That's right. We're the Mickelson twins. Oh. Oh. The truth of the matter is that if you actually want to gather enough reviews for your books, buy the books and legitimately, there is no other way other than building an email list and using email marketing. Now you could use an email list to do a lot of different things. For example, get reviews mm -hmm. to affiliate market other products and mm -hmm. to use it to promote future book launches. Yeah. But fuck those options two and three that you just mentioned. Yeah, to a get the greatest benefit out of your email list, you should strictly be focusing on using it to gather reviews for your books. Just books. that, like a lot of people, they want to complicate it, they think complicated is better. Oh, let me affiliate market shit. Sell everyone these things. And like, oh, I'm gonna make so much money. Focus on what you have, get reviews on that, sell that, you'll make way more money. Just, just trust us. Just use it to get reviews. The great thing about using an email list to gather reviews for your books is that you can automate the whole process. So what you do is you set up an email automation sequence. Someone purchases your book, they sign up for your email list, and then you simply just basically poke them, say, hey, hello, you purchased my book, will you please leave a review? And you might set up one, two, three, four, five emails in a sequence, or every few days, you're simply just poking them and asking them, hey, will you leave a review on my book? Now, that is probably the most simplified version of it, but that's how it works. It's like that. It's all automated and streamlined. Because and there's no other better way to get reviews legitimately. Of all the books you see out there with dozens of reviews, they're not using some secret method that you don't know about. Email marketing is what they're doing. Oh, and this, this applies to reviews in any business. Yep. Amazon FBA, e-commerce reviews, they all use email marketing to get reviews. You know who I know is really good at it? Oh. Is Airbnb. Airbnb. They always follow up, follow up so many times. Yeah. After you use them, right? And you just like get review, review, review. Do you yeah. like to stay? You like to stay? Yeah. Airbnb. Seriously, you, could act, you could actually use them as like a model for yourself. Airbnb does it for you. Yeah. That's nice. I wish KDP did it for us, but they don't. You have to implement it yourself. But yes. that's what we're here to show you guys. Right? So just a one-time setup, uh -huh. and you could have this automated sequence running all the time for like years, constantly. You're always getting sales. And these readers, these customers are constantly being poked like, hey, just leave a review, leave a review, leave a review. And that's also why it's important to focus on this one thing as the purpose of your email list. Don't make one email, you ask for a review, another email, here, buy this product, another email, buy my other book, another email, do this other wacky thing, follow me on Facebook, follow me on YouTube, give me a like on Twitter. Make a whole sequence dedicated to asking for a review. Now, that's how we have begun doing it now, a five email sequence where in every single email, there's a bunch of value provided, but it ends with, hey, if you haven't left a review yet, will you do so? Just by clicking here. And then you give them a really cool graphic, they click on it, and, uh, and this actually goes. So what are the things that you need to set up this automated review system? A few things, four things. Four things, four things. First is an email automation software such as MailChimp, Get response, AWeber, there's a bunch out there and they all work. So you need to sign up and make an account with one of those and that's where you're going to be gathering all of your emails and also sending the emails to them that are asking for a review. The second thing you need is a landing page creator. I don't know if that's the real proper term for it, for but that's what we're it. calling it. A software that can create landing pages for you. Now a lot of these email automation softwares such as MailChimp, a Weber, get response. get response. They can all create landing pages for you. So there's a two in one. Congratulations. The other ones that we're talking about, like the high end ones, is like a click funnels, lead pages. But for a publishing business, you don't need something that expensive because you're just creating really simple landing pages. Just use what the email automation software has. Yeah, MailChimp, That's enough. MailChimp makes really simple ones. And then most of your email subscribers are coming through a Kindle, which is going to be on mobile. So just simpler is better. There's not much you could do. Just stick with like a MailChimp, for example. The third thing you need is a business email. It could just be a simple Gmail account that is your pen name, books, dot let's say books. Will Johnson, Will Johnson books at gmail.com. Will, Will Johnson Publishing, Will Johnson Author at Gmail, something like that. Just don't use your own one, obviously, like Rockstar6969. Yeah, don't, don't use that. No. It might throw them off a bit, yeah. but it's free to create, so create this free Gmail account to send your automated emails from. And then the fourth and final thing that you need to create this automated review system 
is a lead magnet. A reason hey, to actually give you your email. What is a lead magnet? A lead magnet <laughs> is something like that. That's yeah. an example of a lead magnet in a book. It's simply like an ethical bribe, some yeah. people call it. It's a bribe for their email address. Hey, basically. you want this cool thing? Like, I will great, give, give you, me your email then. I will give you this if you give me your email address so that I can send you occasional email. So that's what that is. Once you have those four things and a book as well to put this inside of, I don't think we mentioned that yet, that this lead magnet goes inside of your book and then people will sign up from it through there because these are people that have already purchased your book. You can't just give away this lead magnet somewhere else randomly on the internet and say, and then start sending them emails saying, leave a review on my book. Like, uh, what, that what makes sense. I, I didn't purchase your book. So it has to go inside of your book and that's where this funnel begins. Now this is a super simple process to get reviews, but it's not as simple as having a book, putting a thing inside that says, uh, give me your email for a free ebook mm -hmm. and then sending them an email asking leave a review. No. Like it's not that simple. If you put that together and you expect to get reviews and then all of a sudden you don't and you're surprised, you shouldn't be surprised because that's just not going to convert. Yeah. You have to nail every single step. Yeah. And by meaning that, I think the most important part of all this, where if you don't have this, this doesn't work. Everything work. falls apart and it, it backfires if you don't have this. Yeah. And that is a actual high quality book. A good book. A good book. Imagine having a shit book and hey, can you leave a review for my shit book? Like, oh, I'd love to, but it's gonna be one star. Exactly like you were saying, the only way to get real good reviews is to have a good book. Now you can get good fake reviews for your shit book, but that's not what building a long-term publishing business is. So we need real reviews and the core foundation of everything is always having a book that's actually gonna provide value to people. Encourage them to, okay, yeah, I enjoyed this. I took a lot away from this. Let's actually take the time to leave a review. But let's say you have a great book yes. and you're uh, like off to the best start possible. Yes. You still have to do everything else right. Once you have a great book, that's a damn good foundation. Uh -huh. Once you know how to market it, you'll make a lot of money. That's right. The hardest part is making a really good book. But I'll say that if you have a lead magnet inside your book and that lead magnet is a stupid free ebook, here they are reading an ebook. And then the lead mat is to get here's, a free ebook. Here's another 300 page like that, ebook. That, oh. That's the worst lead mat you could ever use because it's not enticing to them. Yeah. Give them something that they don't already have. Quick tip, sorry, provide something complimentary that works with your book. Something like a, before you can continue reading, you really should download this first. Yeah, we can make a separate video about what, what does a good lead magnet actually look like. Once you have a good lead magnet, that is what will acquire the email. Now you're off to a great start. Now you're gathering emails. And then the final thing is a sequence that actually makes people take action. Now, how do you make people take action? Join AIA 2.0 and we'll tell you exactly how. Look, the truth is that you can't, you can't just send them an email saying, hey, my name is Will Johnson. Mm -hmm. Leave a review for my book, please. Here's the link. Yeah. Once again, that won't work either. No. There's just no, there really isn't actually a good reason for them to leave a review. The secret is in the sequence. But in all seriousness, how is it you get emails that convert to reviews? You want to write compelling emails that people read. People don't read boring shit, so it needs to com be compelling and interesting and actually provide value. Like That's the it, big one. If, if you do that and then ask for the review at the end with like a really nice graphic and then just asking in a really nice way people don't mind leaving reviews they really don't it, it'll take 60 seconds just ask them nicely become friends with them and then ask them and then do that five times over a span of two weeks and then a after five times over two weeks you should probably stop bugging them because if they haven't left a review then they probably won't and then you can end the sequence but that's how you're going to do it basically Look, and again we can extrapolate on this in a later video if you have a good book that provided value and you're providing value in the emails mm -hmm. they're going to feel like they owe it to you to leave a review yeah. that's kind of the position you want to put them in yeah make them want to leave the review. So the last thing that you need to know to gather reviews successfully using an email list is that you can have everything set up perfectly and that's great, but you still have to have people see your lead magnet and then join the email list and buy your book. And that also won't just happen on its own. So in the end, you need traffic for your book. For example, you can't have 100 reviews on a book without at least 100 sales on the book. Some people want to have 100 reviews and not have any sales like, oh, 
That's just not how this shit works. Yeah, so the truth is that you need to have traffic to your book. You're not gonna have 10 reviews from day one. Yeah, you need sales on your book for this to actually fucking work. Yeah, okay. so a few ways of doing that is one, we've talked about this a lot recently, is AA ads to your books. Yeah. It's a way of getting traffic and eyeballs. You just have to pay for it, but you can yeah. get it on demand. Yeah. Now, once again, this goes back to actually having a high quality book. And then the other way is utilizing the free promo option that you have on Amazon. Make your book free and people will flood to your book. Yeah. And, and then you get a bunch of people on your list, get a bunch of reviews, hopefully, if you do everything right. And then, yeah, those are two really good options. Now, I do want to acknowledge with the free promo part that, like, yeah, they're not as high quality leads and as high quality traffic, but it's definitely worthy and you can get plenty of reviews using that method. I mean, these free book people might be broke but they still got a review to their name so that basically wraps up everything we want to say in this video regarding email lists and email marketing we will make future videos expanding on the points that we discuss if you would like us to let us know which ones in particular but besides that this video is over comment like subscribe are we still doing the magic emoji of the videos uh, no no people don't deserve a magic emoji okay well bye then uh -huh.